What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plika. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. Today we're talking about Better Call Saul Season 4, Episode 6, Pinata. I thought this was a pretty, like, okay episode, but right. it did have some really cool scenes in it. Yeah, it took me a little bit. To, you know what? I was thinking about this um, before we came in here. I, I didn't really get in the episode when it was about Jimmy and Kim, and I think part of that reason is because... I don't want to see Kim leave him, but the r- all the wa- writings on the wall. Oh uh, yeah, like he sits there in that in that office or not office, but building like drawing like things and th- yeah, and daydreaming about being a lawyer again and being with being her. with her, and we know it's not gonna happen. So that's sad in itself. And then yeah. she sees it and she's like, "Oh yeah, that's sad because that's not gonna happen." And yeah. I'm like, "Fuck!" And I think it's I feel like honestly, if if he didn't if he wasn't not gonna be a lawyer for a year, I think she would do it with him. But, like, she can't put her life on hold because he fu- kind of fucked up, even though he was helping her out, you know? Yeah, and this this offer's, like, too good. And yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Shady didn't take their offer once, and it was... Like I, didn't, I didn't really... Because I didn't really get into it either with them, either. Not, but I didn't think about it that way. That kind of makes sense. It, it was almost like I don't want to see bad things. I don't know. Like, I do, because the thing is, I want him to become Saul. It's the yeah. whole goddamn point. But then when it starts happening, I'm like... Like the the shit at the end when he he t- I knew he was tricking those kids the whole time. That, that was really cool because you brought up last week, which I didn't even think about it, and then you brought it up, and I was like, oh, he totally will get back at those kids. Yeah, because he did like with the skateboarders and all that. Yeah. So then when he went up to make, make him a deal, I was like, okay, this has to be something more to this. Like he planned this out. He's not just gonna be like, okay, yeah, you take take the money. Yeah. So then he started running away, and I was like, oh, it's totally a setup. Yeah. So I was I was just waiting. Like I thought maybe like Mike would be on the other side or something. I, I kind of thought about Mike too, but I didn't. I think that was a little beneath Mike. At this point, I feel yeah. like yeah, like maybe last season he would do it. Yeah, but so then when he when we saw people, I was like, oh, it's totally Huel and someone else. Yeah. Now we didn't recognize the other guy. Comment down below if you know who the guy is. We, we you said he looked familiar. He, he looked familiar, but it's quick. He and didn't, didn't really didn't. look familiar to me. But it'd be interesting if he is someone from Breaking Bad or something, or even if he was in Saul. We just don't remember. Honestly, I saw him, and like I said, I could just think of the guy that beats <laughs> up George Clooney <laughs> in Ocean's Eleven, and I know that's wrong. So, um, but I, I really liked that pinata, and that was pretty cool. Him like. Taking those kids down. Yeah, that, that was really cool. And like he scared him, and then you and mom both said, like, oh, I hope the kid pisses himself, which would be so gross. Oh, yeah, because it would have like down run down his like, face. If it was on HBO, he would have pissed himself. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and he probably actually would have been hit in the head with the bat, too. Yeah, at least one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was really cool. That was one of the things I thought that was really cool. The other one, I really liked Mike explaining and like showing it what to do with like the super lab, like house area. Yeah. Um, that that was really cool. And he's like, yeah, I'll put like treadmills there and basketball court here and this that. Get some lazy boys here at the theater. Like that was really cool. Which it's it's fascinating the way they're setting it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th- I thought that was really cool. And then he said, like, he tells them where to put the cameras to make sure they don't leave. And if they do leave, they'll catch them. And I don't think like I don't that. remember the guy's name, but I don't I think, think that it was guy's Kai. Gonna, yeah, I think you're right. And I don't think he's gonna make it. I'm kind yeah. I'm waiting for him to do something. And Mike just beat his ass, or someone yeah. get him out. They're like, okay, that guy's. Or they're just gonna show up one day, and Kai's not gonna be there. And they're like, what happened? And they're like, <laughs> yeah. He'll just give him a look. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, as soon as he started pouring that beer and the look that Mike gave him, I was like, ooh, this guy's not going to last. And yeah. then and then he goes into the like video lab area, like the little trailer. He says, keep an eye on that And he's guy. like, keep an eye on that guy. And I was like, yeah. First he didn't listen. Then he was asking stupid questions. Yeah, like, oh, when are the girls going to come he's in? He's like sipping the beer and being a smart ass. Yeah. Like he's not the guy to test. You definitely. If anybody else is there, they would have just like been like, this guy's an asshole. But when, when it's Mike, mm. remember the first time Walt went up against Mike? Oh, what was the other scene? I can't remember what the other scene was that I lo- really liked. Was it Howard? No. Oh, I, yeah, actually, no, that was Howard. I was thinking of Chuck at the beginning. I hate Chuck, so I didn't like that scene. You know what? I didn't. I didn't mind seeing Chuck. I thought that was kind of cool. A little flashback. Uh, seeing, I mean, it, it was. Seeing, it was. Seeing a, it was all right, room and but I, I don't like Chuck. Yeah, well, Chuck's not likable. Yeah, but no, that actually the Howard scene was the one I was thinking of. I really liked that, especially when, um, like, Souls like pep talking him kind of like get off your ass like you're yeah. just you're just sitting here whining all day about my brother like he's not even like just yeah. get off your ass and he's no, like he, fuck you <laughs> jimmy and he's like yeah use that yeah it was a strange pep talk yeah i like but it, I I like it that, though. i hope it i like howard yeah did you even though like he's really done nothing to make me like him but i always have liked him a little he bit he kind of liked jimmy it's just that chuck held him back but he's, he's yeah. definitely been a dick to kim yeah for sure but i mean you know i don't know he's I just like them. Yeah, and then actually, I just remember now the the last scene, which could be possibly the creepiest scene in Better Call Saul, was Gus staring at. Oh well, um, yeah, it wasn't the last scene, but yeah, that was creepy as hell. No, I'm saying that last scene that I remember that oh, I really liked. Oh, okay. 
um, him st- like talking to him, like telling him a story about when he was like younger and he was watering this tree and like uh, vet or steps that are growing in the tree and he was selling it in town and all this stuff. And then like some animal came in and started taking it, so he like hurt the animal and went in his house. Like that and was kept really the creepy. Didn't, didn't yeah, it did. It. He's like, I could the. Worst thing I've been to do to kill it, but I kept it. I wonder it. if he put it in a wheelchair and stuck it in an old people's home and then made it go <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Uh, that'd be very interesting. That's just like his like calling card that he does. Yeah, he does that. No, and then they totally tried to tease us, too, with having him wake up at the end, too. Like, as Gus leaves the room, they pan in on his hand slowly and just and like stay there. Happened. Yeah, but we see it in the next on. He's, he's awake. awake. Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming that's when they start figuring out, oh, he can't talk. We need to get him a wheelchair. Put a bell on it and stuff like that. No nacho. Last two episodes. I know. He Which must makes really me think like something up. big has to happen with him coming up soon. Yeah. Because they all they all said that even like coming into the season, like it's a big season for Nacho. Well, it was up until the last two episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I was actually really hoping to see him this episode too, because like th- yeah. they've been showing pictures like, oh, it's Gus's new crew. Which the only person we saw the new one that really is Mike, and he's not even that new because he's working for him every now and then yeah. before. Yeah. Um. I want Nacho, but like I, <sighs> I mean, I see why he wasn't in it. You know what yeah, I mean? he's still sleeping on his dad's couch. Yeah, like, I mean, after he, he got he's beat shot. Up. Like the episodes, it's an hour long where they show what they show. I mean, it's hard to yeah. get something in there. So it's almost it's hard to believe we're halfway through the season now already. It wasn't this episode six. Yeah. So isn't there ten episodes? Oh, I was thinking there was twelve. There I is think there's ten. ten. There is only yeah. ten. Huh? So we're more than halfway. Damn it. Yeah, but it's crazy how fast it goes. It is flying by. Yeah. I I, I really like how they're doing. I'm hoping they kind of go back and forth on this because like last week we had a flash forward scene. Oh, Which yeah. is weird because technically it's still a flashback because it's in Breaking Bad, but whatever. Um, and then this this week we got a flashback. It'd be interesting, like what other things they're gonna do with that. Yeah, show us in the beginning of every because it seems like in the beginning is gonna show us something different from his past or his future every time now, which I kind of like. It's very interesting how they're gonna do. Yeah, that. Um, I mean you wouldn't think they would just do it once and then not. Yeah, have like like two episodes in a row they do the past and then or the future and the past yeah. and then that's it. Yeah, so I'm interested like what next week's is gonna be. Yeah, I, it, I mean, you can't even speculate, but I hope it, I hope they do something because that was that was cool. I got excited it, in it the beginning it, because I f- I was like, oh, oh wait, this yeah, is you a like I saw, oh no, 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 he's Jimmy. Yeah, I'm like, God, yeah. like I just knew it was different. You yeah, can tell by the way they film it and stuff. But like, I don't know. I thought that was interesting too. I mean, just seeing and then seeing Chuck, I was like, oh, hey, it's Chuck. Oh, I hate him, but you know, I was still excited yeah. to see him. So I don't. Like I said, it took me a little while to get into the episode, but no, me too. I felt like I said this episode. I felt like it was an okay episode with some really cool scenes. Yeah, I mean, not to say it was bad. I no, but the I Gus, hated it all. the Gus and the pinata scene, like, were were pretty damn awesome. And and the Mike scenes were awesome. Yeah, they, too. they did have some really good. Scenes. I like too how he he bought all those cell phones and he's gonna sell them out of his office now. Well, not sell them out of there, I guess, but keep them there and sell yeah, them. So as did like he a side buy business. five thousand dollars worth of prepaid cell phones? I guess. Which I mean, obviously, he can. He thinks he can make more than that. Yeah, selling them, which is cool. I, I, I'm interested to see how he goes from selling cell phones to criminals to being a criminal lawyer. Well, and they literally in the next one call him Saul Goodman, and then it says, "Oh, really? I didn't even catch that." The guy that walked up to him said that, and then um, was that like his street name? Well, that that was what he used. Remember when he's making the ad? Yeah. So then, and then he he was in a suit, and he says the, and that rests the case or something something to that effect. So I'm like, he's not. Being a lawyer, is he? Oh, that, that would be crazy. That, they could have took that scene too from if they're going to do another future scene in the opening. Yeah, I mean, who too, knows? So who knows? Yeah, yeah. That, that's interesting. I didn't catch that at all. His suit wasn't like crazy though. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, anything else you can say about this episode? Like, I mean, it was kind of a like okay episode. Not nothing major to the story. Nothing major, but a lot of, like you said, a the, lot of planning the, and the stuff. The Gus too. thing was really cool and creepy. Yeah, and uh, the pinata th- shit was pretty fun. Yeah, but th- that's it. Yeah, I think so. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Saul. Please like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on the episode, and like I said before, if you recognize that guy, because we definitely didn't. Yeah, and, I'm, uh, I'm going to go look that up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. We're sorry, man, all right? We're sorry.